All right, now that I've got the first floor walls drawn in the Fredericksburg Studio, I'm going to do the second floor walls. So I'll copy this over here, and you can see I've drawn the first floor walls. Now the part two is to draw the second floor walls. So I'm going to come in here. We're going to do the copy to layer command. So I'll do the command. I'll actually probably do the command and then undo and redo it just so you can watch it a couple of times. It's a super cool command once you get it down because what it's going to do is it's going to take those sec the first floor walls, it's going to make a copy directly on top of it um, and put it on a brand new layer, which is actually in a brand new layer state. So this is where I want to kind of point this out to you. It is important that your second story walls sit directly on top of your first floor your first story walls. Do not copy them off to the side and work on them. The whole entire reason that we're doing layer states is so that we can draw first floor, second floor, foundation, everything on top of each other. And then we can use the layer states to view what we want to see. So I'm going to go back to the home tab. <clears throat> I'm going to pull this down and just kind of pin it down just so we can see this down here. What we're going to be using is this guy right here. It's called copy objects to new layer. It looks, I I think it looks like a couple of gumball wrappers with gumballs sitting on them. You can think what, <laughs> decide what you think it looks like, but it's this guy right here, copy objects to new layer. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start that command, select the objects that you want to copy. So I'm going to select these stairs, press enter, and it's exactly the copy command. It's just that right in the middle of that command, it's going to ask me which layer I want it to go on to. So it says select object on destination layer, or I could type in the name. I don't have an object in my drawing that's already on my destination layer. So right here, I'm just going to press enter, and it's going to pull up a list. So I can just scroll down the second floor walls and say OK specify a base point, you can just press enter here. So I'm viewing first floor, let's go look at my second floor, look at that, second floor. Now I've got walls on my second floor layer right where those stairs are. So here's first floor and second floor, they are right on top of each other and that's really important. So now that we've got that, I'm going to go to my all on layer state. <coughs> And what I need to do now is finish off my second floor walls. So I'll come over here and just show you what I need to do is just take those walls and just extend them all the way back, all the way up here. Um, once I once I just take this wall, extend it back to the very, very top um, outer wall here, then I can just take it, offset it over 10 foot 8 inches, offset it down 9 foot 9 inches, and then I've got it. So. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and set second floor walls current. I'm going to extend. So I've got my second floor walls layer current. I'm going to, let's just draw a new line. We can always join them in later. We'll just draw it to here. We'll bring it over here a distance of 10 feet 8. We'll bring it down a distance of 9 foot 9. Oops, 9 foot 9. And we'll bring it in until it just touches that intersection. Now I can set my second layer, my second floor current. And I'm just going to offset 3 and a half inches all of these guys. If I were smart, I would have done a polyline so that I would just have to offset one. So fill it, radius of zero, m for multiple. Join those two lines together. So this is great. I've got my second floor already drawn. I've got my first floor drawn. I don't see second floor when I'm viewing my first floor and I don't see first floor when I'm viewing my second floor, but they are right on top of each other. So this is perfect. I've finished with step two 
and now I'm ready to move on to my doors and windows.